Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So if you know anything about RVs, you're gonna know that the current RV market is super hot. Record sales everywhere. Everybody wants to buy an RV. In this video, we're gonna talk about our experience buying RVs. And how the current RV market could be a disaster for the RV consumer. So if you watch our channel, you know that Izzy and I we don't hold back on what we feel is the truth. We tell the positive, the negative, the neutral, everything. So this video is really kind of just giving you the facts and some of our opinions about what's going on. So like MJ said, we're gonna just do this video. Some of it's gonna be actual factual mm -hmm. basis mm -hmm. and the other bit is gonna be our opinion. And the reason why we're doing it is just to help you make your decision whether it's to buy an RV or not to buy RV. We just wanna put the information out there and maybe have people you know, think and brainstorm before they take the plunge on, on an RV. And have a discussion too in the comments, which I always enjoy the comments that we have with our viewers. All right, so the first piece of factual evidence, right? It's gonna be uh, from rvnews.com, the Super Saver Show, which is scheduled for April in Fort Myers. It's not you know, the Tampa Super right. Show, but this is uh, actually the same organization, the Florida trade association that puts this on. They had to cancel this show. And I'm just gonna read a direct quote from the Region 1 President, Everett Henkel. Due to supply issues and a continuing shortage of new and used RVs, our show committee has made a difficult decision to cancel our annual, our, our annual shows this winter season. Now, this is not the first show that was canceled. Actually, it's the second one because there was the Fort Myers RV show back in January of 2001 was also canceled because of a shortage. Not due to COVID like Hershey. So we attended the Tampa RV show in January of this year and there were a lot of RVs there. Mm -hmm. However, we attended it back in 2020 and there were way more RVs Considerably there. Considerably more. Now yeah. you can tell this if you've been to some of these bigger RV shows essentially they pack as many mm -hmm. RVs as possible into the smallest amount of space. So what we noticed was there were certain areas that there was a lot of space and there was considerably less. There were actually vendors that weren't even there. Newell wasn't there, Renegade wasn't there, Show Hauler had one, there was just a lot of, right. there was a, a, definitely a lack had of RVs. Out. Now, not only in talking of the RVs that there's a lack of inventory, but parts, components are, that's all you're hearing about. And, and the, the holdup on RVs getting out there is many times because of parts. So FRVTA Region 1 show manager, Jack Carver, there's a quote here, supply chain issues on the manufacturer side do not help shipments in further demand. There are units ready to be shipped in Elkhart, Indiana, but are waiting for a refrigerator. So how many are just stalling because they need a refrigerator or an air conditioner or something? Tons. Yeah, and this is not the only article. This is not the only YouTube yeah. video that talks about this. Mm -hmm. This is readily known mm -hmm. if you follow the RV industry mm -hmm. that there is a huge uh, parts supply shortage, yeah. right? Yeah. Air conditioner units are apparently impossible to get mm -hmm. now, both at the manufacturer level and aftermarket. And we're going to talk about why that is very important. Right. And then RV components like, you know, stoves and microwaves and whatever it may be. Not only does that affect the supply demand, but think about this, you and, and there is other videos talking about this from people in the industry. You may have two same exact RVs, right? So for example, we have a base star 3626. Mm -hmm. There may be two identical base star 3626s or another brand. One may have one refrigerator, mm -hmm. one may have a different brand right. refrigerator or different brand TVs, right. or maybe a different TV in the front and one in the back, because they're just piecemealing things together. Or two different ACs. Didn't we hear about that? I think also? so, yes. Just different AC units. So. <laughs> Again, this, this video is just to let you know what's going on mm -hmm. out there. And if you're gonna purchase RV, you may wanna look for these things, just so you know, mm -hmm. that's all. So the next thing is you have decreased supply, you have increased demand, as has been for the last year, and what do you get? You're gonna pay mucho bucks. Yeah, so I just wanna talk about now another article, RV Pro, and this is uh, the president of Thor, Bob Martin, the CEO of Thor, talking about Thor had record sales. Now, mm -hmm. 
hate Thor or like Thor, Thor has, it's kind of like Camping World. They have a huge effect yeah. on the RV industry. Thor is the biggest RV manufacturer in the world. Whatever affects them kind of affects everybody else. The company reported net sales of 2.73 billion, a 36% year over year jump compared with analyst forecast of 2.53 billion. Earnings per share were up $2.38. Uh, they beat forecast by 83 cents. This is no new news. You can go on the internet, across the board. Dealers, are have, Lazy Days had record sales. Mm -hmm. Camping World had record sales. Thor, it's across the board. They're all having Winnebago. So what does this have? What, what is the result of this? And we've seen this firsthand. Now we're gonna go back to Tampa. We're gonna talk about Tampa. Shortage of RVs. RVs being sold, sold the first day. Certain brand RVs being sold out through the year. Right, like and, through the, you past, can't even buy and past certain the RVs having a thousand dollars off of MSRP, which is insane. That is insane. And people are paying it. And I will tell you this: we saw a particular RV that last year, same exact RV, and the MSRP difference between twenty and twenty-one was a thousand dollars. So twenty-one was a thousand dollars more, but the show price was twenty-five thousand dollars more. Why did it? Is it that much more valuable? Well, yeah, it is because when you have a decreased demand and an increased supply the dealer is no, going to backwards increase any, i'm sorry <laughs> when you have an increased demand and a decreased <laughs> supply the dealer is going to get more money right mm -hmm. when they're selling rvs sight unseen like people are buying it and just picking it up which we never recommend doing they're going to get what they want so just be aware of that when you're going out there to purchase or researching to purchase your RV. Now, I have to say, as a business owner, I think it's great when businesses flourish. Mm -hmm. God bless them. I had one of my best years because everybody got a dog during COVID and I have a dog training company. We did really well. So good for these companies for doing that. But again, you know, as a business owner, I always make sure not to take advantage. Not that I'm saying companies are taking advantage, but are they? You put in the comments below. What do you think? I mean, do you think that they're taking this and going with it and like, oh, we can charge way more. This know? is neither bad, good, neither one. What we're saying is we're going to give an example of our personal experience. When we bought our mm -hmm. Numar, we bought in 2018 as a 2019 factory order. We got, I believe it was 27% off with almost zero negotiation. It was very yeah, quick. Yeah. I am reading on the Numar forums, people are lucky to get 20% off. That's a significant amount of money. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. is. I can tell you that people are paying for our same model that we got. They're paying about $25,000 more for a 2021 than what we paid for. Right. Now, if you're willing right. to do that, then go for it. But we just want to make you aware of what the industry is like, what the market is like right now. Because a lot of people are buying right now. And some people a lot of don't people. care. Yeah, and some people say, you know what? I don't care what the price is. I want an RV and, and fine. That's great. I mean, good, go for it. But some people may not be aware. So that's the point of this. So how many of you have seen in social media groups or you have friends with RVs or you yourself have experienced this where you need repairs on your RV now and you're either, you have to wait weeks to get it into the shop, and then once it's in there, some people are months without it, yeah. we've heard. If you're new to RVing, we've said this in many videos, and if you're an experienced RVer, you know what we're saying is absolutely true. If you buy an RV, there's gonna be problems, 100%. If you can't resolve that problem, sometimes they're very simple that you can fix yourself. Sometimes they have to go to a dealer or they have to go to a repair center. What we are reading, what we are finding, and again, like MJ said, put it in the comments below, is that the RV repair centers are essentially overwhelmed. Yeah. They, they're getting slammed with RV repairs, not because RVs are coming out any different from the factory, which they may be, we don't know mm -hmm. that, but just because of the volume right. of people and that are RVing. Good, good for them, in you know, a, in addition, business. In addition, if you're, if you're booming, don't think that the RV repair centers are not going to charge a little bit more because they can. On top of that, when we talked earlier earlier in this video about supply issues, I have read multiple places that air conditioner units are impossible to get. And there's other parts that are really difficult to get. Some of these stories when people are saying, we've been waiting weeks, we can't use our RV. The issue is that the parts are just not available. Yeah. So that, that may be, you know, something that you have to deal with. And that, that kind of affects everybody in the RV industry. But imagine, imagine if you buy a new RV, you drop $50,000, $500,000, mm -hmm. 
$600,000. Something goes wrong with that RV and now you're getting that note every month and you can't use your RV because of parts. It's under warranty, but that doesn't mean nothing if they don't have the parts. Just imagine if that happens to you, how, you know, how would that would taste? If you've experienced that or are currently experiencing it, put it in the comments below. We're curious. So there is no doubt factually that the RV industry is super hot. Where it goes from here, we don't know. Fuel prices are rising. That is pretty well known. Mm -hmm. And COVID vaccines are rolling out. People pretty soon are going to have more options of traveling because if they choose to be vaccinated, it would be a lot safer, supposedly, to travel. Save your political comments. <laughs> yeah. So in the comments below, tell us your thoughts on the current RV market. Have you bought recently? Have you tried to sell recently? Have you had repair issues? Tell us everything that's going on on your end. Have you thought about buying and have held off for whatever reason? Yeah. Put that in the comments mm -hmm. below. And for myself and MJ on our first trip out of 2021, yes. we thank you guys for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.